guys, it's the 22nd of May and so I posted like a long video before of me going on for about an hour and ten minutes. But here, yeah, here we go with the news for the day. So um, the news will go into the final five days of the Giro d'Italia as fa clear favourite. So that's not for BC World's news. Cars in a tent sing along in Manchester Albert's Manchester's Albert Square in tribute to the victims of a Manchester arena attack one year on. And it's like at the end of kinda of like at the end of Oxford Road, I think it is. Oxford Road, Oxford Street, somewhere around there. BBC Women's Football of the Year 2018 Lucy Bronze wins award. TV presenter Hayley Moore tackles race horse in Chepstow. New York parents sue 30 year old son who refuses to move out. So when you are 30 years old, you probably should be moving out. You will never be forgotten, Prince William and Theresa May's message to the 22 who died in the Manchester Arena attack. They'll be hanging on one of the 28 trees of hope dotted around the city centre. Manchester attack quietly mass sing along. It wasn't us who sacked him. Sunderland owner Stuart Donald isn't drawing out a Chris Coleman return. Should white people ever use the N-word? Probably not. Sweden sends out leaflets on how to prepare for war. Grenfell Tower video of Blaze showing without warning triggers walkout. Liverpool and Roma have been charged by UEFA over crowd disturbances at Anfield. Zuckerberg apologises to European Parliament for harm. Dementia friendly lunches served at Norwich restaurants. How can MS get back into fashion? Probably won't. Couple lose car over Cheltenham Hospital visit. Child sex abuse and the Catholic Church, what you need to know. There are no barriers there. Son Massey Ellis believes. It's only a matter of time before there is a female referee in the Premier League. Unai Emery, if Arsenal players buy into his philosophy, they can win everything. Win things. Harry and Meghan attend first royal events since, since wedding. So, Drew the Italia ceremony keeps lead after the time trial. Mother from Birmingham found guilty of forcing her daughter to marry a man 16 years a senior in a land landmark case. Girl was 17. Okay. Put some sweet treats. See slow start. Supermarket giant Tesco plans to close its Tesco Direct website, putting 500 jobs at risk. My life behind the wheel by police pursuit driver. Voter ID, Fifi8 did not vote after failing to show document. 338 did not vote after failing to show documents. Immigration Minister Caroline Oaks, under pressure at Northern Ireland Committee, admits she has not been doing, been to the border and not read the Good Friday Agreement. Funeral held for Dale Winton on his stars. 63rd birthday. Europe, Europe Captain Thomas Pion has chosen his vice captains for the 2018 Ryder Cup. Sheffield Man's Fright at Corn Snake Breakfast. I think anyone would be just a little scared and frightened if you found a corn snake for breakfast. Trump and South Korea's moon to hold talks on Kim Summit.
they will live on through those who love them. The circa 22 who died in the Manchester Arena attack remembered in a service. $100 million prize fund offered for Fortnite's gameplay. Elon Musk admits Tesla breaking for. Eric Malage, Anthony Joshua, opponent banned after failing doping test. At the maltings of Salisbury, the first signs of things getting back to normal after decontamination in the town centre. Work went in normal clothing, replacing cobbles at the site where the scrapels were found seriously ill with nerve agent poisoning. Monaco Grand Prix F1 heads back to the place the drivers call home. Teaching boys not to stalk for love. Danish minister Stojberg provokes Ramadan row. Pro 14 Scarlet's dub Glasgow pitch shocking and very bad. Grenfell Tower tributes the final victim of fire. Fellow slams UK embassy over rainbow flag on day against homophobia. Howard Sheeran is tackling ticket tops. But I did not know about Bill Harris case. Child amputees, Taylor loosely. Walks unaided for the first time. Marco Carney and Brexit in a short in the short term there has been an impact every even with some pretty good tailwinds. It is understandable why businesses are holding back. C D to pick up dependent on EU negotiations when your company balance sheets are clean. M and S to close hundred stores over four years. Now, as reorganisation is vital for the firm's future. Adam Mawler, 16, who suffered multiple injuries in Manchester team an arena attack, and uh, an almost lost his tongue and right eye. I'm s- says I'm going to still. I'm going to try and live my best life. We believe he will attract a new ta- new talent to the London Stadium. Premier League winner Manuel Pellegrini is a new West Ham boss. World Cup Harry Kane named England captain for Rush 2018 tournament. The bee is a symbol of Manchester now. The grandfather of Olivia Campbell Hardy taught to us about the bee, which has come as soon, has become a symbol of the strength of for the city. Notch Bishop has been convicted, not may have had crime rule change. North Korea summit summit Pence warns Kim Jong un not to play Trump. Tesco removing some best before dates. Doctors explain Michael Jackson's impossible dance move. Living fossil giant salamander heading for extinction. Manuel Pellegrini set to be named West Ham boss. FTSE 100 surges to fresh record high. Champions League 2017-2018, the moments of this season's tournament. Camila Cabello puts out of Taylor Swift toilet tour date with dehydration. Art hitting speeches at Billboard Music Awards. Sony buys controlling stake at an EMI record label. Badger baiting whale secret hunting network exposed. Claims of illegal adoption at former Mary and Vale home. Hawaii volcano. When when your home's next to a flower flow. Manchester attack. 
Miracle Watts about to play rugby again. Australian Archbishop Philip Wilson guilty of concealing child sex abuses. Prison without guards or weapons in Brazil. Cuba plane crash. Mexico suspect suspends Aurelian us. Damn. Oh. Clean air plan ambiguous but ambitious but vague. Turkey coup trial. trial court to jail for 104 extra military for life. Method crime new rules are to protect police pursuit drivers. Fuel price rise threatens consumer spending. EastEnders star on the stabbing storyline. Van Gogh could this be a newly discovered painting. Miss Curvaceous on the fat tax. The Gambian village transforming forms by graffiti. Korea hoping for peace as a fake DMZ. Papers Manchester remembers bombing victims. Alexander Zarev, a Grand Slam champion in the making. Uh, in order, Aluka excited for a new club after frustration at lacking of lack of playing time at Chelsea. Sean Edwards, perfect choice for England, saves Matt Dawson. Champions League final Liverpool and Real Madrid resale tickets. Ticket price is ridiculous. Moving on to BBC New World. Because of whom we are living in a dream, we went back to where it all began. My solar. McDonald's workers make sexual harassment complaints. AC Milan are facing punishment for breaching financial fair play rules. MH317 not deliberately crushed by pilots, says investigators. Investigation is still going. Trump Kim Summit commemorative coin sparks ridicule. Myanmar Rohingya militants massacred Hindu says amnesty. Until the government pact, nominated prime minister facing CV scrutiny. Palestinians demand for ICC investigation to Israeli war crimes. Google search reveals name of rape, rape victims. Israel complains over Dutch TV Eurovision parody. Eagle Creek Wildfire here. Oregon judge orders boy to pay $36 million. Nine dying Twitty Corrin. Sterilized copper protest turns violent. Moscow stations get World Cup selfie spots. Elon Musk admits Tesla breaking the law. Body cam show moment police arrived at Trump resort shooting. F 35 stealth fighter sees first combat in this Israeli operation. Panel says new evidence shows 1994 plane crash terrorist incident. Tibet activist jailed in China over language campaign. Language campaign. I die in a school shooting. US children explain what they would think, what they would happen, think would happen if they were killed in a school shooting. Nepal virus. Death toll rises in India. My Spanish speakers in the US are getting into trouble. 
Sony Bias controlling stake in EMI record label. The Jungle Village hooks on their phones. Grand Sanctions, Sorry Condemns Pompeo announcements. US man keeps dogs safely inside house he burgles. US policeman forms roadside C section on wounded deer. Kansas shooting Adam Perinton sentenced for hate crime. Venezuela election sporting ambassadors recalled after Maduro win. And uh, video, so yeah, I'll see you all very soon, so au revoir.